here goes the elephant. A mouse is coming now. Let's have a mouse. Come, come, come the mouse. <laughs> Thomas Goethe, um, CEO of Green Pocket. Thank you very much, Jan. Yes, my name is Thomas Goethe. Welcome. I'm the CEO of Green Pocket. Green Pocket is a software company based in Cologne. And yes, we are a mouse. And yes, we do work for those big elephants, at least for two of those here at the stage during this event. Um, we are a team of 35 people, very talented people, developing software for smart metering and smart home applications. So what, what kind of problem do we going to solve? Uh, we try to support people who want to save money and to want to protect the environment. This is a nice picture, and this is a nice statement, but reality is normally a bit different. How to overcome this gap? We think, and I guess all of you in this room, we think together that technology will help to bridge this gap. There are ambitions to roll out smart meters all across Europe. 80% in 2020 of the household should be equipped with smart meters. And I'm personally convinced that in 10 years from now, every single household, every modern household will be equipped with smart home components. I personally believe in that. So what does it mean? It does mean that there are a lot of data on energy consumption. And data, a lot of data, a huge amount of data is still a treasure. And we try to transfer energy consumption data into value for the consumer. So here are the areas where you can address this. Delivering value from energy consumption to the consumer, what does it mean? We believe in beautiful software. We think great energy management software should include at least three elements or three ingredients. It should be easy, easy to understand, transparent. It should be intuitive, easy to use for you, that you can use the software. We all know this great piece of software here on this device, which is easy to use. And at the end, it should be effective. Effective in the terms that it brings you some positive effects in terms of money and also uh, protect the environment. So what does it mean? Just to want to give you some examples, some glances of our software. Here's an example how to start with a visualization for people who have a solar panel on their roof. There are at least one million Germans who have that. And they want to see the balance between the electricity they got from the utility and the power they generate on their rooftop. And it looks like this if you create the software. And this is included into our portal. So the polar bear is happy. He makes money. He gains 100 euros per month. For, for example, out of his solar panel. Even for business customers, it, it's important to understand what uh, is the cost breakdown, for instance, for the water in my cantina. Here it is. For a smart home customer, they want to see what happens in the rooms. Here it is, an overview of all of your rooms and what happens there. That must be easy and transparent right from the beginning. Intuitive means that you know how you can handle your software. For instance, for smart home applications, you want, to, you want to know how to control the timer to have these effects. So timer is important. But also, for your uncle and aunt who wants to work with the smart meter software, it must be easy. So help functions, even in the details, it's important to create and generate superior software. Effective? Just look at the budget of your months. You may have an, an understanding that you will not pay more than 108 euros per month for your energy. So, and you see on this forecast that it will be more money this month. So maybe you want to change within the month your behavior. Therefore, you have a budget limit, and you might have an alert by SMS or email. So software can help you in daily business to manage your consumption. The core of our software is an energy expert engine. It's a collection of algorithms and heuristics. And around this, we set, uh, have a set of applications starting with Smart Meter. You've seen some of the products, web portal, smartphone app. 
It should include feed-ins. You've also seen one or two examples there. It will include smart home applications. And furthermore, in the future, we will see applications that supports e-mobility customers with their storage, full-in uh, concepts, and so on. So there are a lot of features that can help you to manage your energy consumption better. And we firmly believe that we only can convince consumers and utilities, our customers, if we are still innovating the business. So we were the first, globally, the first company who linked an energy app with a Facebook, with a social media platform. So we called it Social Metering App. We, were, um, we created a very comprehensive, multi-level benchmarking tool for retail branches, for municipalities, and even for property management companies. And also, we try to innovate the smart home application by supporting you as a lazy customer to have optimal patterns just on one click you have a pre-configured program for your home. So, but in the back end, it's all about the front end, but in the back end, there should be an engine and an easy setup, an easy integration. So we need data from the utilities. We need the data from the energy consumption software, and we need the data surely from the ERP systems. So this has to be easy supported, and most of the projects are three to four months, and then our software is running at the premises of the utility. But furthermore, all of our customers, they want to have their specified, their customized software. They want to have a software that shows Vattenfall or that shows EDF and, and that shows features that are specific for them because they want to differentiate in competition. So we have to deliver this kind of software. We have a standard software and we have to customize it and that's, that's our uh, goal to do this in a very efficient way. Even if you have new releases, three, two, three, four a year, you have to make sure that your 30, your 50 customers are getting the right software on time and we are not uh, overloaded by managing this process. Therefore, intelligence in the platform is quite key. So how do we make money out, out of this all? First of all, we have one-time revenues, a setup. But even then, when we start a setup of the project within the first year, we normally have change requests. There are new features our customers want, so we have more to do and more revenues getting out of this. They start normally with one module, maybe in smart metering web portal, but we saw with all, within all of our customer base that they want even more modules just right in the first 12 months of our customer relationship. And we see it is a license-based model, and we grow by meter points and the number of gateways, and this is all about penetration, and these times will come. We are right in the beginning all across Europe with these kind of projects, so there's a lot of room for growth for us and for other players in the market. So do we have customers so far? We started our business in September 2009. We were quite happy to manage to win the first customer in Cologne quite fast. The next, after three months, was a very renowned one, Vattenfall, where we work in Berlin here and in Hamburg. And we got even more, Eumetric, Gazak Daughter, also in Berlin, in Munich, Manova in Frankfurt, and many others. So we have more than 30 customers that rely on our software right now in Germany. And last year, we started to bring our software abroad. The first customer after Germany was an Austrian one, but then we managed to win one of the leading providers in Spain. And last but not least, we have won one of the leading uh, utilities in the UK. So footprint in Europe, more than 50 projects are live right now with our software, and we are quite happy about the results. Here are some, just to give you a flavor how that looks like. The capital, the former capital of Germany, Bonn. This is Frankfurt-based Mainover, looks a bit different. And Duisburg in North Rhine Westphalia. And last but not least, that is to show how it looks in Spain.
Thank you very much. And I'm happy to get any questions. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you, Thomas. Do we have a question for Thomas right now, or do you want to take it to the coffee break? Let's take it to the coffee break. <laughs> and be here in uh, 25 minutes. We need to catch up a little bit, OK? <laughs> Great. I like your software.